hi guys um today this is one of the hardest videos i've ever had to um uh, do um i actually wanted to it for it to be an instagram live but uh, uh instagram is blocking my bnn account from going live so i have to do this video and um i'd like to ask you to pray for my family and uh so saturday night i was informed that um they kidnapped my brother they kidnapped him tortured him and uh, they were more or less just trying to get information about my whereabouts and um, that's one of the scariest things of i'm so sad that he had to go through that and that some people in this country would go so low that now they're just going after my family and it just makes me sick and I fucking hate this country. Fucking hate it. I fucking hate how they get away with just anything and nothing is done. I was kidnapped last year in November and nothing was done. Last night they kidnapped my brother and nothing is probably going to be done. And they just keep getting away with this shit. And it's... I don't even know what to say. And... um. He's traumatized. And uh, let me even just start this story from the beginning because uh, a few weeks ago, uh, I actually I asked my brother to go and pick up a package for me from the airport. Um, it was at customs and they were holding it because they wanted me to pay some duty and tax. And I sent my brother to pick it up. And he went, he's talking to uh, the customs guys and... Uh, the package was being handled by DHL. So he gets there, he's told to wait. Uh, they tell him, ah, we can't release your package right now. Let's, uh, there's a fee, there's a payment you have to make. And so uh, my brother had to come, come back a different day. So apparently uh, customs now lodged a payment, like an invoice on the KRA, probably a KRA portal. So when my brother goes back to pick up the package, apparently he finds DCI agents waiting for him. Uh, he, he arrives at the airport, at the customs offices. He's taken to a room. He's told, wait there, give us your phone. So he just obeys. They lock him up in a room for three, four hours. He, he's wondering what's going on, but they didn't actually tell him that they're lo they're locking up in the room when he when he went to ch open the door to check where where this guy is taking so long that's when he realized he's actually been locked inside a room so apparently they come they are taking away his phone uh and they were just asking him where is edgar that's all they wanted to know that's all they cared about where is edgar and i don't understand how you can uh, you can actually hold someone else and try to get information about me when they have not done anything wrong they're innocent and now they're just going after my family the way they want to so it ended up being this whole drama about the dci fighting with the customs they're trying to uh, get my package and uh, it was one of the most scary things at that day i was so angry i wanted to talk about it and share and uh, get some results from it but my brother told me please don't talk about it i don't feel safe and i don't want you to put me in a position where i have to uh, fear for my life so i respected his wishes and i never talked about it and i kept quiet and here we are a few weeks later now they've just upgraded to kidnapping him and honestly i don't know what to do i i They now are really just doing the most, like, there are no boundaries with them anymore. They, they're just doing whatever they want. And I, it's a sad day. It's a sad day for me, for my family, for, for Kenya, really, that now they're just willing to do anything and they're just willing to harass anyone they want just to get whatever they want and now they're just coming after my family i hope the right people see this and 
I hope these people are found and brought to justice because it's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy that this is the country we live in. So, I guess if you know me, this is the time to, I, I honestly don't know what to do anymore. I don't know. Because hearing my brother cry on the phone, trying to explain to me what they did to him, and I'm just... He didn't deserve it. He didn't deserve it. He's an innocent person, has nothing to do with it. Well, we are just related. He didn't do anything. Why should he suffer like this? So yeah, um, I guess we'll be reporting the matter hoping police will do something. They didn't do anything with my case, so I don't think it would be any different. But I fucking hate this country. I hate how low we have sunk. I, I, I truly, truly hate how low we've sunk.